Hey guys, it's Miles with another stamp video. I'm just going to continue the trend of showing you guys um, little bits of my stamp collection as we go. Um, so yeah, we're going to get started. This is Hungry. Um, as you can tell, I haven't done a ton with Hungry. Um, if I get a set, I usually throw it in here. Sorry about the lighting over here. It's not great. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's what I got. And like I said, I'm just going to show you guys um, where I am and hopefully where I'm going to get to in the future. This is Poland. Okay, I don't have a ton. Uh, so this is Finland. Again, telling the difference between Russian and Finnish stamps for me is really tough. Uh, just found that guy in what's in a box. Super pumped about that. Um, but um, down here it's easy, of course, to tell the difference. But up here, um, what I've read is that it says P-E-N um, underneath it. That usually means it's Finnish. Um, but yeah. So now these are actually remnants of my German collection that I've put in the other stock book. So I'll just go over those real quick. There's that guy, I don't know what his name is. So these things I just haven't organized back in there. Um, at some point I'll get around to it. These are just the remnants. Because I originally had my Germany stuff in here. But I, you guys have seen my German collection and needed a lot more space. Here's all the official stuff that I haven't put in there. Some occupation stamps from the Allies. Right, now this is my Russian page. Um, as you can tell, man, I just threw everything in there. Um, look at that. Different colors um, with the same denomination. Uh, this page needs a lot of work. Lots of work. And half of this stuff um, is finished, probably. Um, down here are my older Russian stamps. Um, so they do bring a little more value down there. I like these guys. We just got some cool overprints right here. These are my way down. I do think this guy has some value. Not 100% sure. I mean, this from Denmark. Again, some of these you can tell I haven't spent as much time on as others. There's what you get. Nice. Yeah, so this is going to be uh, Japan and China section. I think these are Chinese with the dragon. Work our way down. Got some cool ones in here. And yep, all these guys. Some of these have value with the overprints. Some of them don't. No idea. If you guys want to shed any light on anything in this collection, let me know. Um, but again, I just did it by denomination. That's on the stamp, not the overprint. So I did it by the denomination that's on the stamp. And as you can see, some of these stamps get really high. Is that 200,000, 20,000? Pretty ridiculous. And here are just some of my box that I've come across over the years. Stock books and, um, and albums and albums. Do you have that guy? Do you have a Shanghai? Here are my Japan stamps. Nothing too early, um, but still, not nothing that's too worthless here. Again, overprints get pretty crazy with the Japanese and Chinese stamps. Um, and this is the last page, but yeah, I have their first stamp in Norway, 1855. No margins, but hey, I got it. Um, Super proud of that guy. So yeah, we'll just move our way down. And yeah. Um, so again, uh, me just showing you, um, you know, my stamps, uh, my stamp collection, every um, little piece of it. Uh, again, nothing too expensive or surprising, but I'm um, so just want to show you guys this stuff. So um, thanks for watching.